Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the previous year that is last 10 years CBSC board chemistry questions part 31 in which we are going to discuss about the aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid chapter. So here the question number one is predict the structure of the product when benzaldehyde is reacts with con NaOH and con HNO3 H2O4. This question was asked in the year of 2011. First we are to write one by one. First we are to react with uh, benzaldehyde with the concentrated sodium hydroxide. So when uh, benzaldehyde which will be reacting with the concentrated uh, sodium hydroxide what will be getting the product? So this is the famous reaction. So without alpha hydrogen containing uh, aldehydes will be able to react with the sodium hydroxide to form uh, some product, two different products like uh, one is an acidic product, one is an alcoholic product that we studied earlier, <coughs> nothing but a canister reaction. So here uh, I'll be getting a product so like this. So here it is a benzyl alcohol I'll be getting OH <coughs> along with that I'll be getting salt of sodium benzoate salt of sodium benzoate I'll be getting. <coughs> this is a two different product when it is react with sodium hydroxide. And question B is <coughs> what is that? The same benzaldehyde which is going to react with our uh, concentrated uh, HNO3. So if it is react with a concentrated uh, HNO3 in presence of uh, H2SO4 so I'll be getting a product so here it is CH4 is there in that meta position the nitro group is substituted because these benzaldehyde is nothing but it's a meta directing that is what the major product will be formed in meta position this is the meta position one two three third question is meta position or able to understand students <coughs> and next question is a ketone that is C4H8O which undergoes a halophone test and gives compound B on reduction. So when you reduce a compound uh, A, it gives reduced product uh, B. <coughs> B on heating with sulfuric acid, it gives compound C, which forms monoozonide, which, which forms monoozonide with D. So D on hydrolysis in presence of zinc test gives only acetaldehyde E. Identify A, B, C, D, E. This was asked in the year of 2010. <coughs> Initially, we have to take C4H8O. So they uh, confirmed that it is a ketone. Moreover, they given a clue that is it undergoes a halophone test. So it undergoes a halophone test which confirms the presence of COCH3 group. So that is what I have to written like this. C double band O CH3 group I written. <coughs> the remaining how many carbon atoms? Two carbon atoms. That is CH2. Here it is CH3. Are able to understand so here now you can check it how many carbon 1 2 3 4 4 carbon 8 hydrogen 3 5 8 8 hydrogen 1 oxygen is there 1 oxygen is there that is what by structure E was proposed like this so this is the structure here. now this on uh, what is that uh, reduction so while using a reducing agent, I'll be getting a product. So when ketone is reduced, I'll be getting a 2 degree alcohol. Likewise, CH3, CH2. So here it is CH and here it is OH. Here it is CH3. <coughs> this is what I'll be getting a product B. Are able to understand students? And to the most important thing, B on heating with sulfuric acid. If you are heating with uh, H2SO4, what I'll be getting a product? It's nothing but very very simple product. So I'll be getting here uh, OH is getting eliminated. Here one, uh, here if I write like this H H CH H CH2 I written as CH H. Now this water molecule is getting eliminated as product water. So minus water. That is the dehydration reaction will be taking place. It, while it's leaving H place, it leaves minus charge. It leaves OH minus, it leaves positive charge. Both positive and negative charge will form a double bond. So here I'll be getting a product CH3, CH double bond. One more CH, here it is CH3. This is what the compound C I'll be getting formed. And one more thing, the very important clue was given which forms monoozonide D. 
so when it react with ozone only it gives ozonide so when it reacts with ozonide with ozone which forms mono ozonide that is ch3 ch single bond <coughs> ch is there and ch3 is there instead of the double bond one oxygen ozone molecule is getting attached this is what ozonide mono ozonide the same type of uh, carbon containing ozonide will be getting formed this is what the product d okay once i got d it on hydrolysis in presence of zinc dust h3o plus in presence of zinc dust what will be the getting the product i'll be getting a product like this this is what i'll be getting product and they given the exact clue it gives only acetaldehyde it gives ch3cho ch3cho two molecules of ch3cho is getting formed c double bond o h is getting formed okay two molecule of acetaldehyde will be getting formed we are using zinc dust the zinc dust will undergo oxidization oxidation which forms zinc oxide which eliminates as zinc oxide are you able to understand students this is very very simple one so if i got a clue if once you write a, a structure so we can able to find out the abcd very easily i think so you understand very well and next one is third question that is identify a and e in the following cells so here they are giving they are asked to find out a and e but the thing is we have to find out everything then only we can able to find out exact compound for the structure given so here um what is the name of the compound this is nothing but toluene toluene or methyl benzene and beginning the methyl benzene when it has undergoes oxidation in presence of uh, these compound to form in uh, the temperature of a uh, 273 283 it gives a a on hydrolysis it gives b and uh, which on uh, b on undergoes a reaction with the so concentrated sodium hydroxide it gives another product what is that as sodium acetate uh, sodium benzoate the product will be getting formed one more product is getting formed that we are going to find out so here it is a very very simple one i think so because you can able to uh, identify the product very easily so if you know this please you can pause this video and try your own okay so here i'll be <coughs> let us have a solve let to solve this uh, ch3 is there if it is react with the chromic acid chromic acid in presence of the ch3co twice o is there <clears throat> nothing but an hydride so if it is react with the 273 to 283 kelvin so i'll be getting a formed a as a product what is the a a is nothing but this is ch uh what is that o co ch3 twice is there this is what i'll be getting a product if you don't know about this mechanism please go and watch my previous videos you will be getting a good idea about this okay right so here the uh, a is getting formed which on hydrolysis so if i hydrolysis that h3o plus what will be the product so i'll be getting formed so this is what i'll be getting a product that is so here let us h here it is oh so here it is h here it is oh so i'll be getting form the product like this what is the product so here it is ch oh oh is there so it leaves as oh minus so here one carbon two oh group so it eliminates as water molecule so this oh and uh, this h plus wants to move on its own by that way i'll be getting a product my product is nothing but the benzaldehyde cho is there that is my benzaldehyde is my ultimate product so this is what i'll be getting a b okay when b on a uh, reaction with noh con noh i'll be getting a product what kind of product they are giving so there are two different products so this is nothing but a canister reaction because uh, one of the product i'll be obtained here is coona along with the c is given the c is nothing but here it is o ch2oh 
okay i'll be getting the product like this so here my compound c is like this okay are you able to understand students this is nothing but uh, canisora reaction when benzaldehyde it's nothing but uh, without alpha hydrogen containing aldehyde that aldehyde will react with the concentrated nao gas it gives one of the product it's sodium benzoate another product is alcohol because it's a disproportionation reaction that we know very well if you don't know about this concept please go and watch my videos in canisora reaction so you'll be getting a good idea about this and next for us they are giving if these reacts with uh, <clears throat> this is a particular chapter so this is what i'll be solving this a b c a b and c was given and we have to now we have to find out the d and e what is the d and e when this kmn4 it's a good strong oxidizing agent in presence of a kmoh so i'll be getting a product like this this is my product what is the product cooh okay so cooh i'll be getting if it is heating and this will be undergoing hydrolysis and be getting benzoic acid as a product cooh as a product or able to understand students this is what this is nothing but e and this is nothing but d or able to understand this is what i'll be getting a d and e as a products so here my a is this like this and e is like this or able to understand students so i think so you understand very well thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank you for learning. Share and like this video.